Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Welcome to Video Friday. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving and um, even though it's uh, what is today called Black Friday, I'm not a shopper after Thanksgiving actually. I pretty much steer away from the stores but I do love to stamp and that's what I chose to do this morning for you. Um, and so today we are going to be using the Frame Florets bundle. This bundle is available now. It is going to be available in the new mini catalog that's coming out. And so that will be available through April. Um, and um, that is the photopolymer set. It's called Frame Florets, 13 photopolymer stamps. It also has the coordinating dies. It's called also frame florets. I like it when they name them the same thing. It's much easier for me to remember. And there's 13 dies. And so that's what we're going to be playing with today. I'm actually going to be making a wedding card out of this uh, stamp set. Um, I'm, there's a celebrate, this little celebrate here at the bottom. I'm going to be using that. But in the inside of my card, I'm going to be using Peaceful Moments, which says, wishing you every happiness a special day will bring. I have a, a wedding coming up in December. And so I thought this would be a perfect stamp set for that card. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to be using lots of different uh, purples. <laughs> Actually, Ooh. I'm going to be using uh, Fresh Freesia as my card base. And so this is a half a sheet of Fresh Freesia. It's five and a half by eight and a half. I'm going to fold that in half. And so the card is going to open this way. I'm going to add some vellum. And um, I am hot on this vellum right now. This is the vellum layering designs. And um, it has black and white embossed. This piece, I can tell you, oh, it's very tiny. Can't really tell you what it says, all these words, but there isn't a right way to put it on. And this is the way I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm not gonna glue it down yet because you know, seeing through, gluing through vellum can be a little tricky. And so I chose to wait on that. I did cut out of a couple of different card stocks that coordinate, I think, with the Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. And so um, I did cut this out of the die. I love this die. Okay, and this is Gorgeous Grape. And then I also cut out the frame from um, Highland Heather, which is a shade lighter. So we've got a lot of purples going on here, but isn't that so pretty together? I think it works really well. So I think I'm going to lay this on here like this. And then I did a, do a little pre-stamping. And I cut this out. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite stamps in the set. Um, I love, love, love this. And so it can either go this way or this way. And I cut it out with the die. Okay, so it has the coordinating die. I'm going to put the die back before I forget. A lot of these dies have, um, and I love this, they do have the numbers on them. Um, which is helpful in case you misplace the die and you don't remember which, uh, what number case it goes back with. Some of them are numbered. Okay, so before I glue this down, I'm going to do a little coloring and I'm going to use my pencils today. I'm going to use my watercolor pencils. And uh, this set, which is assortment two, has gorgeous grape in it. Um, it also has um, granny apple green. I have to decide if that's the green I want to use. So gorgeous grape is in here. Yes. And then I don't know if I want to use... Granny apple, yeah, I think that might work actually. Granny apple green. Okay, I'm not gonna color in every flower. Okay, I'm just gonna color in, I think I'm going to leave this one, maybe white, and then color in this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna color this one in. And gorgeous grape, and then I'm gonna um, actually blend it with my um, blender, um, my blender pen, okay? So if you if you haven't used your blender pens in a while, check them to see if they are dry, because sometimes they do dry out. I'm also going to color in this one, I think. Okay. So you don't really have to um, blend them, but I think it gives it a softer look, actually. 
Okay, so let's see what that looks like when I blend it. See, it just really makes it look finished. So pretty. Then to clean your blender pen, you just want to go like that and clean it off. And I'm going to add some greenery. Yeah, I like that color. I was kind of debating on if I should go to my other collection and pull out a different color green, but I think this works. I don't think I need to color all the leaves. I'll just do the bigger ones, I think. Ooh, I almost colored in that flower. I almost colored in that flower green. That would have been different. But, you know, might have been fine. I think that's enough. Well, maybe I ought to do these two since I did the other side. Okay. Do a little blending here real quick. It's almost therapeutic blending these things. I don't know. When I went to Indianapolis, I went there for On Stage, which is our convention. I did use this stamp set um, on some of my swaps, and I colored the this image with my uh, blender pens. Oh, they turned out so pretty. I was really happy with how they turned out. Looking good. Okay. Then I think I want to add... I might add just a little crushed curry to the center. Of these flowers. Just like that. And then I'll blend that out a little bit too because oof, I don't think I cleaned that off. It's a little green. Got to clean your blender pen, your blender pens. Well, it's a little greener than I thought it might turn out, but that's okay. Okay, clean your pen. Okay, so it goes away later. All right, so let me pull this up so you can see it a little closer. Can you see how that turned out? Oh, so pretty. Pretty simple. Okay, let's, um, the last thing I wanna do is go ahead and stamp my Celebrate from the stamp set. And I'm just gonna stamp that in Memento Black. Just a smidge, I think. Okay, I have everything done, I think. All right, let's do some assembly. Okay, so if I had this laying here like this, going the right direction so I can read it, and then I put this on top, like that, and then I put this down below, Kind of like that. Oh yeah, it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little adhesive on here. Whoops, take the case off first. Do This is a new refill. So let's see if I can get it started. There we go. Sometimes when you put a new one in, they don't wanna get started right away. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay this down and kind of lightly put that on. And then I'm going to, I don't have my liquid glue handy, so I'm just going to put an adhesive on here. Like that. that on. And now I do need my glue. Hmm. Where's my glue? Oh, wait. I think this one's empty, but let me see if I can get any out of it. This is very, <laughs> very low. Oh, take that back. Look at that. There's a little bit left in there. OK, 
Okay, well that worked. Okay, now I'm gonna tuck this. Hmm. I think I'm gonna tuck this behind, so let's see if I can lift this up for a second. Okay, that I'm happy about the way that turned out. And then I have my little greeting, which I can adhere with some glue. This thing's like, I think they're empty, but they just keep going. Yay. Okay, now to glue this down, now I can see where to put the glue, right? I can put the glue everywhere. But there is coverage. That's so pretty. I like the three um, the three purples actually, and I think it needs an embellishment. And I'm going to use these classic matte dots since it is a wedding card. I'm going to use these white ones. I think I need just a tad more glue right here. Not much, because I don't want to squeeze out everywhere, which it does, likes to do. Okay, all right. Now I, I am gonna put something on the inside. So I'm gonna um, stamp on this white to make it look a little more elegant. And I'm gonna use Peaceful Moments and I'm gonna use this Wishing You Every Happiness the special day will bring. I like this stamp, I've used it a lot. And I think I'll do it in Highland Heather. Okay, so this is red rubber cling. I hope it's on here straight. You know what, sometimes I like to test it before I take it to the paper. Looks good. Okay, does it need a little stamp on here maybe? Hmm. I could stamp that on there. That would be really pretty. I think I will do that. Need another block. Here we go. Blocks everywhere. And I think for this one, I'm gonna stamp it in Fresh Freesia. so it makes it really look like it's all coordinating with the card. So this is five, uh, five by three and three fourths so that there's a nice border. Okay, so there is my wedding card. I really like it. I could add a little uh, Wink of Stella on there, but I don't know if I'm going to. We'll see, I might. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video today and I will see you on Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.